the tzaddik of Lublin. He was very old. And he was very meticulous, never really to eat out of his home much. And at that time, this great tzaddik who was old now and very sick, and he wasn't eating at all. And no matter what his wife made, no matter what she brought to him, he wouldn't eat. Till finally his son said, Abba, you have to eat something. Let me bring you something to eat. He said, if you want, the only thing I'll eat is, you know, Estela, the water carrier's wife, I'll eat her soup, but nothing else. And the son looks at his father, seriously? He says, yes, I'll never forget that soup. Now this is very out of character for a gadol at Sadiq, to remember a soup. So the son of the Lubliner goes running over to the, the water carrier and he knocks on the door and he says, Rabbi Yitzchak, whatever his name was, I don't know what his name was. He says, Rabbi Yitzchak, tell me, I want to talk to your wife. What was the recipe for that soup that she made on the one time that my father came by to your home? And she comes out and she drops her head and she says, I'll tell you the truth. We asked your father when he was younger so many times to come to our home. The great Sadiq of the town, but he never would come. And finally, one time, he surprised us. He walked up to the house, and I had no food. And this was the opportunity to home the great Sadiq, but I had no food. She said, you know what I did? I took out a pot. I filled it up with water. I put the pot down on the table. I picked up my hands to Shamayim. And I began to cry to Hashem. And I said, Hashem, the flavor, the warmth, the love in the world comes from you. Because you put it into the world for the great Sadiqim, for Am Yisrael. Please don't fail me now. I'm begging you, please. Allow that this soup should taste like the time of Gan Eden. And as she's crying, the teardrops are running down into the bowl of soup. It was at that moment that she picked up the bowl. She comes inside and served it to the Rebbe. Everybody by the table ate that soup and they could not get enough of it. Till finally the Rebbe said to his son, you want to feed me something? Get me Estela's soup. That tasted to me like the soup of Gan Eden. That came from the heart. That's chesed. It's not, let me get rid of this guy, so I'll kiss him with a few dollars. That's not what chesed is. Chesed, and I, I would like to mention this, my father told me this many times growing up. He used to tell me, Dovi, real chesed. Chesed is not when you want to do it, it's when the other person needs it. And that's very true. Very powerful concept. Chesed is not when it's convenient always for you to do. It's more like when the person really needs it. Even when it's not convenient. But that's what it means to give from yourself. To give a part of yourself. Literally the tears. And how incredible the concept is. The smart person. To be able to know how to give and do for others. But without them feeling shameful when they have to receive from you. I love those people. I love those people who know how to turn things around and they tell the person on the receiving end, you're doing me the biggest favor. Thank you. They make the Ani feel that they're doing them the favor. Not that you're doing him the favor. I love those people. You know the guy that's in his car and he's going to Avenue J and someone runs up and says, hey, can you give me a ride? And he says, sure, where are you going to? I'm going to Avenue Z. And he says, Uli, that's the opposite direction. <laughs> Don't turn to the guy and say, well, the truth is I was going to J, the opposite direction, but you know what, I'll take you anyways. Now the guy feels terrible. Terrible. I love those people that turn to the guy and say, you're going to Avenue Z? <laughs> that's where I was going. <laughs> what a coincidence. Now the guy doesn't feel bad receiving and taking the act of kindness because you just took the shame out of the situation. 
This is reminiscent of the Gemara. Gemara Baba Batra says, A person that gives tzedakah, and he says, I'm giving it, Al-Minat Shayichyeh Bini, I'm giving tzedakah to the person, to the poor man, on the condition, so it should be a zikhut, that my son should have a refuah shalema, says the Gemara, Hareze Tzadik Gamur. Tzadik Gamur. Es old Aharonim. That's called it Tzadik Gamur. Tzadik Gamur would be when the guy gives tzedakah, not for personal reasons, not for ulterior motives, but just L'shem Shamayim. Not for his son to get better, for a personal zikhut. What does that mean that he's a Tzadik Gamur? Explains Harav Benet, one of the great Aharonim. He says, no, no, you're reading the Gemara wrong. You know what it means? Picture this. I tried this one time, it works. One time I tried this. There was a knock at the door. And it was 10.30 at night. And I just came home from Brooklyn. And I felt like a wrinkled out rag. I drove in at 5 o'clock in the morning. I came back. It was already 10.30. And I was gone. Not gone. Totally gone. I was falling over my feet. I was seeing triple. And all of a sudden, bang, bang, bang. There's a knock at the door. And I said, Ole. Oh boy. Right away, the Yitzhak Hara kicks in. You're tired. You're tired. You put in a full day. The guy by the door, he doesn't know that you commute back and forth every day. He doesn't know this and he doesn't know that. Let it be. Someone else will give him something. But then I remembered, I remembered this, this concept of Abraham. So I ran to the door and I opened the door and I said to the guy, Shalom Aleichem, I was waiting for you. And the guy had his head down like this and he looks up and he says, you were waiting for me? You don't even know me. I said, please, please come in. And his head was hung down and he shows, I have this tzara and I have that tzara and my wife and my children aren't feeling well and this problem and that problem and I have a letter from Chamovad Yosef and a letter from this one. And I said to him, wow, I'm so happy. I'm so happy you came. You know, I also had tzarot. And I need a zikhut, and you bailed me out. You're a godsend. Now I have the opportunity to get a zikhut that I really need. Thank God you showed up on my door. The guy was looking at me like, he wanted to pinch me like, everybody else, he spent the whole night talking to just, you know, video cameras and conference phones. And, and he says, hey, I'm telling you, what did I give the guy? $18. But he walked out. I saw it. For that half an hour that he was sitting by me, he forgot all his problems. He forgot that he has a trouble here and a trouble there. He walked out happy. He walked out laughing. We were talking about Israel. We were making very interesting Israeli jokes. We were making... He walked out happy. And I said, wow, Abraham Avinu is a genius. That's the concept. That's the Gemara. When the guy says, I'm giving the Anit Tzedakah on the condition that it should be a zikhut for my son to get better. You know what it means? It means that he comes to the Ani and he says, You're a godsend. I'm so happy that you came. I have a son that's not feeling well. You are so lucky that you helped me here. I'm so lucky. You did me a favor. I need the zikhut. You did me the biggest favor by coming today. Now I'll have a zikhut for my son to get better. Says the Gemara, oh, you turned the tables around. You took the shame away from the Ani. You made him feel like he was doing you a favor instead of you to him. That's a great level. 